<laughs> Hello again, everyone. Deflect here, firm with Fair Gaming. Came to bring you a new video announced as of an hour ago on Friday, October the 25th. Upcoming tuning for the reset. Some questionable things coming up, but here we go. Uh, once reset on October 30th, this is what's going to happen. Uh, blood DK is getting buffed, blood boil damage, heart strike damage, blood plague damage, and death strike damage all being buffed. We are looking to increase the effectiveness of Gist of Sand or Sand Lane, Lane or whatever it is pronounced. So, uh, Vampiric Strike proc increased to 35 was 25, Essence of the Queen duration increased to 25 was 20, and the Gift increased durations of Essence of Blood Queen by 200% was 150. Interesting changes coming up there as that uh, mainly towards tanks, which Blood DK is now close to the bottom. And on DPS, it will get a nice little rise up there. So uh, some good changes for them coming up. Balance. The goal of these changes are to increase single target damage and to even output of the power of talents of balance tree to provide much more flexibility to players. So... Uh, Celestial Alignment and Incarn. Uh, Chosen of Illumin once again reset at the end of the raid encounter. Starfall damage increased by 6%. Star Surge increased by 8. Starfire by 5. Wrath by 10. Shooting Star and Crashing Star by 20. Uh, Sunseeker Mushroom Grow by 12. Touch of the Cosmos proc to 15 and 22 for Starfire. Uh, power of Goldrin's damage increased by 25%. Rattle and Star increased by Star and Surge damage by 8, so down from 10. So that's a little Rattle and Star's decrease, 2% there. And then New Moon, Half Moon damage increased by 5%. Interesting because if you have a look at the not max key, but max damage, they'll be happy. But they're in the upper echelon, like they're just under the 1.5. So upper echelon getting some, some little fixes there. Restoration, getting Elder's Druid's duration increased to 15. Uh, Dream of Sonaris now incre or now causes Wrath and Shred to transfer 100% was 50 of their damage and into healing. Starfire Swipe to transfer 50% of the damage into healing was 33. So just a little buff there. Peacemaster again getting, getting touched. Uh, Dark Ranger, Bleak Powder no longer damage. Is its primary target okay pack leader frenzied tear proc reduced to 10 was 20 pack leader vicious hunt damage increased by 10 so nerf buff uh beast masters overperforming single target we like to reduce its single target while improving its lackluster aoe yep herb shot 25 stomp 50 multi shot 100 multi shot doesn't do a lot of damage else which is weird um but yeah there it goes a little buffs to the aoe a little nerf to the single target um reduce marksman also reducing single target of dark ranger buffing aoe black arrow reduced by 10 but then black powder or bleak powder sorry increased by 25 shadow surge by 25 arsenal by 15 mist weaver oh i read this and i was just curious of blizzard's thoughts here so we're excited that chi g master build exists and it's powerful in the right conditions, but numerically its output has been above where we're comfortable. Cool. So let's go to raid because it's really where you only play the um GG Mastery build. Uh let's go to throughput. Yep, that looks like it is really above where it should be comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, yep, Blizzard, you nailed that one right on the head there. Oh, if that doesn't surprise you enough. Here are the top 50 logs for the first boss in the raid. Uh, this is the Chi-G Mastery build. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 of the top 50. That's a good one to look at nerfing. It is way too OP, let me tell you. Don't want that to get away on you. Just want to say. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I don't know what goes through Blizzard's head, but that's a thing. So... All healing increased by 6%. Great, that will help the other build. Not sure why that helps this one. Um, Awaken Jade Fire now causes Spinning Crane Kick to transfer 110%. Was 90. Great. That's um, awesome because 
you almost never use spinning spinning crane kick at raid, but sure, yeah, you know, I guess if you have four target cleave at one point, <laughs> um, Jade Fire teachings uh, increases ancient teachings by additional 160. He was 140. Rushing wind uh, increases 150. Renewing mess instead of 100. Uh, oh, sorry, 150 rushing now increases renewing mess healing by 100% first duration. It was 50%. So now it's increased by 150% and duration doubled. Uh, Yulon's Whisper, this is, nobody took this. <laughs> this was garbage. So they increased the healing by 400%. Not sure that's even going to be enough, to be honest. Um, and here's the nerf. Jade Bond now increases mastery. Gust of Ma Miss healing by 20% was 60. So a massive, massive nerf by 60%. Uh, well, over 60%, because 50, yeah, I don't know, 60% it was, like, down there. It's, yeah, yeah, sure, there you go, got some mist healing down. Way to go, way to go, Blizzard. Way to rock it. Uh, Paladins, anyway, Beacon of Virtue now costs uh, a 5 base mana, was 4. Holy Shock now causes 2.8 base mana, was 2.6. And sorry, I guess I should have said in the logs, anytime you see a 1 minute Yulon, all these are one minute basically Yulons. You can't run the talent. The talent is actually baked into the other side of it. So if you're running one minute Yulon, you can't run the Jade Bond, which are nerfing. So that's why you just look for the uh the Chiji ones. That's the easiest way to see it because it reduces the cooldown. Um, but any of these one minute ones, yeah, you can't can't be run. Forgot to explain that, sorry, but that's what it was. Um, Paladins, they just didn't like how much mana you had, so they're making Beacon of Virtue cost five instead of four. Holy Shot costs 2.8 instead of 2.6. Uh, this Priest, they're increasing, uh, your healing with no enemies, so Powered Radiance by 20, Flash healing by 15. Uh, Premonition healing done by 20 was 15, and Preemptive Care, uh, was four seconds now, or used to be three, now is four. Shadow Link now causes direct damage to inflict 30% of damage dealt to targets affected by Vampiric Touch was 25. So, a little buff to the Shadow Priest. Wow, I don't even know where they are, to be honest. Kind of middle of the pack. Cool. They'll, they'll, I'm sure they'll love a little buff. Uh, Rogue. Assassination. Critical chance granted during the effects reduced to 20% was 25. Master Assassin. Okay. <laughs> elemental and enhanced because they were popping off uh they're just doing some crazy numbers here oh sorry this is raid that's my fault uh mythic plus they were doing some crazy numbers and of course you can't click the throughput here which is always fun but they were up around the 1.5s a piece getting some class tuning uh farseer chain lightning damage increased to wait a sec here uh, with all the changes to Elemental and Enhance, some of the changes were performing beyond a tune. We're adjusting several talents and abilities to reduce their overall power. Okay. Farseer Chain Lightning Damage increased by 40%. That doesn't seem reducing. Lava Burst Damage increased by 15 There's got to be a nerf somewhere. Uh, Ancestral Elemental Blast, 15% increase. Arc Discharge now grants one instant cast of... Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. So you're getting more damage, but less uh, discharges. Okay, that's why. One instead of two on Stormbringer. Uh, Surge now increases Earthquake and Chain Lightning damage by five. Was 15, so that's a nerf there for Stormbringer. Echo Chamber now increases the damage of Elemental Overload by 20%. Was 40, so 50% nerf on that. Descendants now increases the damage of Elemental Overload by 100%. Was 150. So big, uh, big nerf to that. Uh, preeminence now increases haste by 20% while those incendants was 25. So another nerf and ice fury now increases frost shock damage by 200% was 150. So a little buffs, but big nerfs coming in. Um, same thing with enhancement. So they're adjusting some abilities. Lightning Bolt reduced by 10%. Chain Lightning reduced by 10%. Stormbringer's Tempest damage reduced by 15 And then Restoration. Farseer. Um, Ancestor Chain Lightning damage increased by 40%. Ancestor uh, Lava Burst damage increased by 15 So more damage. big More buffs for Resto. Uh, but nerfs for Ellie and Enhance. <laughs> Uh, Warlock. We are increasing the throughput of all Warlock specs to make sure even more competitive with other classes in both single-target and multi-target situations. 
In particular, for demonology, this means reverting the reduction in demonic core generation to help their, their overall mobility. We'll continue to monitor, monitor the performance, blah, blah, blah. Affliction, uh, wither damage increased by 25%, agony by 15%, corruption by 25%, unstoppable affliction by 20 Just buff to all your dots. Demonology, dead, stalker, dead stalkers now have a 100% chance to generate a demonic core with 50 so big buff to that. Uh, Grimmer, Grimmer Felguard damage now increased by 125, 160. Huge increase to your Felguard. Uh, Hanagal Dan 25 and Call Dread Stalkers by 20. So some big, big buffs to Demonology. <coughs> Excuse me, where are they sitting? They're sitting not too far out, actually. They, they overtook Affliction and Destruction. So those would be some nice, some nice buffs there. Uh, destruction. Hell Color. Wither damage increased by 25%. Chaos Bolt by 10. Immolate by 25. Incinerate by 20. Uh, Conflag by 25. And Rain of Fire by 20. So all buffs all around for destruction. Those are some pretty good buffs. Um, for sure. <laughs> are you? Why? Oh, Blizzard. Again, I bl this is where Blizzard just hits the yo-yo button. Um, Execute damage increased by 10% for all warriors. Terrific. Why did you nerf the piss out of them to begin with then? That makes no sense if you're going to nerf them and then buff them again. But here we go. Let's go to reverting the nerfs that we just nerfed into the ground. Uh, Colossus. Single target damage increased by 15. Slayer. Reaper of the Storm damage increased by 25. Slayer. Slayer Strike damage increased by 15. Uh, Mortal Strike damage by 15. Overpower damage by 15. Dreadnought by 15. Cleave damage <laughs> increased by 20. Good. Uh, so, <laughs> why did it take you to they were all the way down here to buff them? Weird. <laughs> Fury. Reap the Storm increased by 25. Slayer Strike by 15. Mountain Thane. Lightning Strike damage by 30. Bloodthirst by 20. Bloodbath by 20. And Rampage by 10. Also, not to be forgotten, Prot. You get a 15% increase to a demolish single target damage. Oh, you took them. They were up here. You nerfed them, nerfed them, nerfed them down here. And now you're buffing them back up. Just stop with the nerfs when they get down right above here maybe but what am i what am i to judge <laughs> anyways uh now you made it through this is all coming up on october 30th if you have any questions as always leave a comment below like share subscribe deflect firm but fair gaming we'll see you in the next video